Boom! What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Perfect Bag. My name's Clint and today we have another one take bag review for you and goodness gracious, it's time for an inexpensive bag. Relatively speaking, what do I think is inexpensive? Anything 150 or less for a high quality backpack I think is inexpensive. Now we also have a whole list of Amazon bargain finds. If you'd like to check that out, you can look at the playlist of the channel. But today, we're going to Cotopaxi. Cotopaxi. Cotopaxi? Poxy, Paxi, Poxy, Paxi. We'll go with Poxy and then I'll get corrected in the comments. Please drop your corrections in the comments. Okay, so what are we looking at? Number one, I hope you agree with me. We're looking at a really good looking bag. Now, I love the aesthetic of this brand. Whew, I want to dive right in. But first, I got to tell you, you know what we do on this channel. We do one-take bag reviews. What does that mean? You're going to get a one-take straight shot review of this bag. Full walkthrough, exterior, interior. I always give you two things that I like about the bag. Two things, not so much. And then an overall recommendation. Who might this be? the perfect bag for. Let's get into it, everybody. So Code Epoxy is an outdoors brand, and it is a funky, cool brand at that. They have a lot of different colors. Think of them as a fresher, hipper Patagonia. And I don't mean that as a slight to Patagonia. Patagonia is old guard, incredible quality. Code Epoxy is funky, fresh, vibrant, pretty good quality. It, it, if I were thinking about outdoor brands, like Cotopaxi would be somewhere, if Eddie Bauer was right here and Patagonia was right here, Cotopaxi would be kind of right here, somewhere in between, closer to the Eddie Bauer side than the Patagonia side. Um, but they've got some really cool gear, some really cool gear. And they've got clothing and everything, but bags are really where they shine. And they've got some great bags. So, I will start this review by saying I was attracted to this bag for two reasons. Number one, it's a top loader. And top loading bags are my weak spot. I just think they look incredible. Jansport Hatchet, I'm looking at you. Ha <laughs> ha So, I'm a sucker for top loading bags. I know a lot of people hate them. I know a lot of people think it's a very frustrating experience to own a top loading bag. I think it's super fun. I love it. But that's not it. I was also attracted to this bag because it reminds me of my favorite travel bag in the entire universe, the Code Epoxy Alpa 42 liter travel bag. And I've got a review of that on the channel, by the way, if you're interested. But it just, it's got this same high gloss, rubberized, poly kind of finish. It, it just looks so good and it holds up so well to abuse. I, I really enjoy this finish that's on quite a few of their bags, but notably not all of their bags. Pro tip, if you're on the Cotopaxi webpage, anything called Del Dia, Del Dia, and I've got another bag review coming up of a Del Dia bag, but Del Dia is kind of a patchwork scraps bag, which is right up my alley but they don't make it out of the same rubberized material that they do these other bags, which is a miss for me because this is so good and there's no reason why you couldn't make a scraps bag out of this material. Yeah, so kind of a miss. But that all being said, let's get into the exterior walkthrough of this bag, which is, I forgot to introduce, the Tori bucket bag from Cotopaxi. It's a 24 liter, if memory serves me, bag and it is a looker. I think it's a really good looking bag. I, it comes in a lot of different colorways. The black, by the way, I, I was so back and forth. Do I get the rust? Do I get the black? The black bag is gorgeous. Ultimately, I went with this bag because of the interior color, which I'll show to you in a little bit. Um, and I am not sad about that. So exterior wise, what do we have going on? Well, I think notably, the uh, first feature you see is the funky colorway. So we've got a lot of details, the baby blue zippers, the PAL webbing that is bright green on the front. And then I think the second thing you probably notice is the uh, nice stretchy bottle pockets on the side. So 
check that out. In one of them, I've tossed my charger. I just did a video about the charger, pretty good. Um, and then on the other side, I've tossed a bottle in a bottle pocket, revolutionary, imagine that, but you've got a ton of stretch here. So, and then they snap back in place on the sides of the bag and it's a really clean look, but they're color matched and like really, really good bottle pockets. Then on the front, you've got a pocket that I'll get into in camera number two. Then you've got grab handle on the front, which is nice. I really enjoy that. It also a kind of easy way to poof the bag out when you're looking down into it um, from the top loading. You've got compression straps on the side, which honestly don't do a hell of a lot for me. Like, okay, whatever. So kind of forgettable compression straps. Handle on the top of the bag as well. The zipper pulls are just a kind of sewn on nylon poly situation. Nothing fancy with the zippers or the zipper pulls themselves. They are YKK, so they're good zippers. Um, on the back, you have a really nice cushioned back panel. And then you have straps. We'll talk more about this, but these straps, oh. We'll talk more about it. Okay. Uh, you do have a uh, Duraflex sternum strap, which is good. You have attachment points on the straps, which is good. Um, the entire bag is really fairly comfortable with the exception of the straps. Okay. Time for us, I think, to get into um, camera number two, because I want to show you the pockets and the organization on this bag, which I think are pretty baller. Let's do it. Meet you. All right, here we are, camera number two, popped into the overhead. Let's do this thing. All right, so what do we have? Attachments, attachments, attachments. These are nice outdoorsy PAL webbing, easy attachment points. You can see the Cotopaxi Alpaca. That's a cool logo, I love their logo. I actually like the logo placement on this bag too. I think it pops, I think it looks really good. And then on the front pocket, what do we have? Well, you get your first peek at the interior color of this bag. Look at that. This seafoam green, really nice. I've got a whole mess of cords in here and my anchor charger. And did I put anything else in there? No, but the pocket, I should say, runs to about here. So it avoids one of the classic pitfalls of bags for me, which is to run the pocket as far as possible, but then you couldn't get into it because this pocket is actually really hard to access. It's got a rain flap over it, which is nice, but it's, it's just not easy to access because of said rain flap. Here's a look at the strap. It's a one inch bit of nylon that's been folded, so it's a half inch at the end of the day. Not really a pleasure to use, but I'm glad it's there and it is useful, but I don't like the feeling of a small handle like that in my hand compared to a wider handle. Feels like it digs in a little bit. Okay, let's look at these bottle pockets. Want to show you these in the close-up view. Very, very nice bottle pockets. Very nice, can't overstate that enough. Let's flip to the back now because we have a top pocket to look at. And good God, does that baby blue look good against this brown? that might be one of the most underrated color combinations in the entire universe. So yeah, that's really good. Inside here in this kind of brain pocket, what do we have going on? Well, we have a quick access pocket and I've put in my wallet and on a key leash here, I've put in my AirPods, reading glasses and flashlight. Whoa, sorry about that. And you can see, here's the pocket. But it does have poof. This pocket has poof, which means it has dimension, which means it's a good admin pocket, or excuse me, a good quick access pocket on the top of the bag. You'll be very happy with that pocket. Now, we're going to do the bucket thing, because this is called a bucket bag. It's a top loader, and we are going to do something really cool, which is flop the pocket. See, when you flop the pocket on this, this pocket now isn't right here. It's right here because it's designed to flop over and then you open it from this side 
and you have a really nice padded pocket for electronics or sunglasses. And it's designed to be flopped over. And then the bag, which does stand on its own when packed out, you open up like this, and you've got that floppy pocket. But over here, what do you have? Well, you've got a lot. So I'm gonna start pulling some things out here real quick because I've tossed in. And so when using a top loading bag like this, I like to find myself some pouches with tugs on the end or loops on the end. And that way it's really easy to access my gear. No issues here. So I've got three matching pouches here. And then down in the bottom, I've also brought with me, because I am watching what I eat, some one carb tortillas. And then on this side, so you can see pretty big space in here. And you have a 15 inch laptop compartment here. Boom, laptop compartment. It's padded, it's suspended, it's nothing fancy. A tablet sleeve. And then right here, you have another zippered pocket. And I've tossed in a little, another battery backup and my new flashlight. Yeah, yeah, woo. And we'll use this new flashlight just to check out the interior here. Really cool colorway, right? I've got this light seafoam-ish green. It's somewhere between Kelly green and seafoam green with some orange detail. Kind of a reverse of out here where we had the orange with the green detail. But yeah, it is a really light bag and there is a lot to like about the bag. Let's get back into camera number one. I think it's time to talk about this thing. Well, 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 we have ourselves an interesting bag, don't we? The Code Epoxy Tory Bucket Bag. I really, really like the bag, but there's some limitations to how much I like it. Let's talk about this. So two things that I really love about this bag, like really love about this bag. The first one is the overall shape, feel, and structure of the bag. I love the bucket vibe of this bag. I love the top loader. I think it's fantastic. I love the shape. I love the, the pocket layout. I just think it looks cool as hell. I love that they just went for it. This kind of climbing style, outdoorsy bucket bag. So funky, so fresh, so cool. I love it. Second thing that I love about it, the admin section, excuse me, the quick access, I keep calling it admin, kind of an admin pocket, but it's a quick access pocket. The one on the top of the bag with all the volume and then this one that when you open it up all the way, you just flop it over and have yourself another pocket. Really nice and in practice when using it, really, really good. Yeah, really good. So those admin pockets are great. The water bottle pockets are also really good. Now, there's two things that keep me from telling you to run out and buy this bag right away. The first thing is the straps are just kind of, they're kind of weak sauce. For a fairly, fairly big backpack, I don't know. I just, the Cotopaxi Alpa, is so good. It's so good. Y'all, it's really good. The straps are so much better on that bag. These feel like they have um, cardboard in them instead of foam. I, I realize it is foam, but it's just, it's got no give to it. It's just not comfortable. It reminds me of the tragic flaw of this bag, which is the best looking bag that's ever been made with the stupidest little straps that have ever been made. And I just, it makes me so sad. It makes me so sad when there are such great straps out there that you could just copy. And it makes me doubly sad when Cotopaxi has bags. 
with beefier straps. Overdo the straps, people. Overdo the straps. Overdo them. Okay, the straps are just okay. They're not a colossal failure. You're not gonna hate the straps. You're just, if you, if you have a lot of backpacks with great straps, you're just gonna just, you're just gonna realize the missed opportunity because this could have been special. This could have been an absolute legend. The other thing that could be better, these, <laughs> these handles are such a dynamic part of the design. They're so important to the usability of this bag and I just wish they had gone with a two inch piece of nylon that they folded into a one inch piece of nylon. Yes, it would look a little beefier on the front of the bag, but this bag really isn't just about looks. It's not. It's about usability, it's about functionality. You get a top loader like this for a reason. You get a top loader because you enjoy that user experience in a bag, and I do, but these, uh, ah, I, <laughs> I wanted to love this bag so much. And at the end of the day, I ended up liking this bag. I didn't even like, like this bag, I liked this bag. I wanted to love it. I absolutely wanted to love it. Is it a bad bag? No. Is it a great bag? No. Is it a good bag? Yes. So, there are pieces of this bag that I really enjoy, and it is, for the outdoor inclined among us, a super light bag. It is super light. And the choices that bothered me the most about the bag honestly would add weight. So, pick your poison, right? Overall, good bag from Cotopaxi and really dangerously close to being great. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this review. This might be the perfect bag for you if you're looking for something funky, colorful, and practical. If you don't mind a light strap, or if you enjoy a light strap, not everybody is in team beefy strap like me. Um, so you might actually prefer this. It is not, don't hear me wrong, it's not a bad strap. I just wanted something chunkier. I wanted the whole bag to be chunkier. So, all that being said, good bag. Check it out. Cotopaxi on the website. I'm going to link directly to the bag in the video review. Um, price, it's worth every penny that they're charging for it. It's a good bag for that money. And everybody, well, it's time for me to wear this bag. And it's time for me to thank you again for supporting the channel and watching. And we will. See you next time. Bye for now, everybody.